everybody, John L here. We are back. We are playing Ninja Gaiden for the NES. We are on stage six, and before getting going, so if you're not familiar with Ninja Gaiden, stage six is kind of like the reason everybody hates their lives. Um, you know, trying to beat Ninja Gaiden. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, it's just the longest, most difficult stage, and um, when you get to Jakio, the final boss, he has three forms, and his uh, third form even has, like, a couple things that you need to uh, destroy before beating him. And um, if at any point you lose, you start off from 6-1 again, so it's kind of a really punishing level. Anyways, um, let's get going, and hopefully we can do okay. So, I'm expecting to use the, um, you know, just make it to the next. Whoa. 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 Holy hell. Make it to the next, uh, area strategy. Already, we're doing awesome. So that's area one. So I would say stage six is almost like more of a puzzle than a um, action game because there's just so many sequences in this stage that you just need to kind of know how to do them. Like this is one of them right here. Yep. Oh my goodness. So I did it wrong right there, but you literally need to like, you know, jump at a certain point, time your sword strike, hit your sword strike, and um, you know, just do it all in a certain order, precisely, and again, that is, excuse me, it's more to like the nth degree in this like stage. Firing against you, oh gosh. <clears throat> Alright, well that's not so bad. Again, as long as we can make it to the next area. With this set of lives, it might be like so bad. It's always like good one that guy is coming. Oh no! Alright. A little bit rusty. Oh boy, yeah, you don't want to be there. Oh boy. And it's a long level too. It's a long level full of like hard stuff. Man, I can't hit this guy. As soon as you you move like one like inch out of like where their screen is, they're coming back. All right, let's not do the same thing we did last time. Oh man. Okay, 
There we go. Okay, and we got the spin thing, which is good because that makes it this part a lot easier. And there's a bat, so you gotta tease it. And there's that dude. And there's these things. There's this guy. Like, literally, stage six is about, like, memorization. You have to be like, oh, okay, I remember this, and this is what I need to do. runs here in the bat. Oh, and then there's the bird and the bat. Okay, and this section is interesting. So there's this person and you let them fall off screen. And then there's the bird and you let it hit you. Uh oh. Okay. So if I had the uh, spinny thing, I think that would make that area easier too, but I don't. Okay. So generally what I do is this. Yeah. And if you do it right, you can do that. And all you gotta do is like just be okay with sacrificing some life. Okay, and this is, okay, so if you can get the fire wheel, then you're in good shape. So that is two parts of stage six done. So it doesn't really matter how many lives we have, because even if we die on Jockeyo, you gotta go all the way back to the beginning, so... Oh, and then, um... When you fight Jockeyo in each form, um, they take away your weapon. So with this jump right here, you wanna make sure you're pressing right, because... Uh, if you're not, then what will happen is you'll fall off. That sucks. Okay, so we don't want that. Alright, so much stuff going on here. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Oh, alright. Well, this isn't bad. I mean, if we don't make it, we'll just start over from the beginning of this section. So you get fire wheel, or fire flame, whatever that thing is. Alright, so in this part, you just want to go, then you dodge the bird. And if you're lucky, you can even dodge them off screen like that. So I always use that for, that for him. And then this part, you kind of want to just... Could be better. All right. So you want to really run through that once you get the timeout because there's a lot of enemies that are tough that didn't spawn because I was able to um, run through it quick enough. So here's a bird. Same thing with that jump too, you want to make sure you're pressing right. So otherwise, you will fall off and die. Alright. So, we have fire wheel. Let's kill this guy. And then you just want to run, and then get that. And this is the same situation, you want to just make sure we go through this. Okay. We got fire wheel. As long as we make it to the door, 
Oh my god, okay. Long cut scene. So the first form is easy, the second form is pretty hard, and then the third form is like a toss up. So we'll just see how this goes. I can already feel like my heart beating. Masked Devil. So I think that means the statue thing. No! Wake up, Father. So we did a really good job making it through the um, level. So hopefully we can just uh, take care of business. Okay. So once he gets there, what you can do is just climb the wall and literally just hang out. Okay, I kind of missed time that I usually don't like jumping. So he's just literally gonna follow you across the screen. And I don't strike up uh, when he's heading this direction because it's way easier to just hit the pedestal like right here. So there's just plenty of time in this fight, you don't need to rush. Okay, cool. So that's the first form, that's really easy. The next one is really hard, or hard for me. So basically, you don't want to get hit by Jockey or let him touch you. His fireballs aren't that bad. Alright, unfortunately again, they take away your weapons, so... See, yeah, that's what happens when he hits you. get into a rhythm. Be okay. Yes! Oh my gosh! Alright, now it's like the moment of truth. <sighs> my heart is beating like a mile a minute right now. Ryu, wait. So 
so the next thing, he just shoots up like a ton of stuff, and if one of them hits you, it takes like three damage off you, so. Lunar Eclipse. Oh no, the demon statue. Yeah, it gets a hell of a lot bigger. Okay. Oh. Whoa. No. Okay. Oh, Ninja Gaiden. Sorry about that. That was, um... Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. That game is... Oh. Yeah, so with the, um, last form, you need to, I never jump the head, that's one thing, and then you just gotta get the tail done, and then when the, um, heart opens up, you just gotta go to town, but, I mean, sometimes those, uh, hit things can kind of just chain you and just mess you up, so. Oh, so that is Ninja Gaiden, folks. Yeah, and that was super lucky because if you end up losing in any one of those phases, like, it, it's just so much worse. Because you have to make it through that last section where all those, like, basically we were almost died before getting into, like, a room. And you have to, like, make it through that with, you know, however much life, and that's all the life you get to fight, like, the next forms. So I actually think it's easier, like, if you lose to Jokio in the second form, so you get full health on fighting the uh, final form. Because if you have to, like, fight the final form, then, like, yeah, you're just going to have to do with how much life you can get. Sea Swallow. Oh, Sea Swallow. Oh my goodness. Kill Ryu Hayabusa. That's a thanks you get. This is obviously like a video game storyline. Like, if they knew where this guy was, like, you figure they could just you know, drop a bomb on the place or something like that, but instead, no, they send one ninja. Ryu, wait. I don't even know your name. Irene. <laughs> so bright. Darkness is finally over. Until Ninja Gaiden 2! So I really think this is a great game from Tecmo. I mean, um, the 
few times that I played through it before doing this recording. I spent a lot of time, like, practicing. But I don't think the game is unfair. I think the controls are responsive. I think the graphics are really good. I think the music's good and everything. Um, you know, obviously it's gonna take you some time going screen to screen and figuring out, like, the right way or the correct, you know, sequence to do things, but once you do, um, it's a really fun game. And the fact that it, you know, is really difficult does give you, like, a sense of accomplishment. So... I think later on down the line, uh, I'll end up playing Ninja Gaiden 2 or 3. I can't remember, but I think one of those two is actually considered to be more difficult. So, there you go. Thank you for playing. And see you next. Cool. Alright, well anyways, that was Ninja Gaiden, guys. And thank you for watching. Um, give it a shot when you can. And uh, take care.